My name is Donnie Hall. I'm with Streamline Custom Design out of Tooele, Utah, about 30 miles west of Salt Lake City. So we do builds anywhere from 32 Fords, 50 Chev pickups. We do resto mods, full custom builds, you name it. We do everything in-house. We have a 10,000 square foot shop, fab shop, body shop, paint shop. We have an upholster in-house. We do everything start to finish. So I had a, a phone call from a guy named Ryan. He, he had called us and uh, just wanted a 50 Chev pickup. I had built one for another guy. Um, he found us on Instagram, hit us up, and said he wanted the same truck. And I told him, I, I won't do repeats, but I will do something very similar. And he said, well, the only thing I ask is that the truck's brown. He says, I'll give you a deposit. Let me know when the truck's done, and we'll take it. He says, you just build it the way you want to. So it was, it was pretty awesome that he gave us full creative control over this build. So This truck was actually, uh, it's a brand new body reproduction body we got from Premier Street Rods down in Arizona. Um, and then we, uh, we got the TCI chassis, uh, put, put that as the foundation, started building the truck. So it's all new sheet metal, but we've, we've customized everything. We Frenched the headlights. I mean, we've, we've done every, a lot of fitment so on this thing. So the TCI chassis is a really solid chassis. It's not a whole lot of flex in it. It's really nice, solid, good chassis. So we went with the LS3 supercharged, uh, 630 horse, did a 4L75E, uh, and it's got the nine inch rear end, four link, 373 gears. Uh, we just dynoed it two weeks ago, 630 horse, 775 foot pounds of torque. So quite a bit of horsepower for, for a little truck. So we've done full custom bumpers, front and rear. So we took 68 Camaro bumpers, we split them and changed the bumpers on it, tucked them in, did custom splash aprons, did a one-piece hood, French headlights, smoothed everything out, and then uh, it's got Kindigit door handles. We've just changed a lot of different things. And then the, the color, I created this, this brown color, no metallic, no pearl. It's kind of an old throwback vintage color, but I've modernized it and I've, I've toned everything and brought it up to a, more of a modern color. So. Well, the interior is a distressed relicate leather that all the distressed areas kind of match the outside of the paint. So it's really dark brown but distressed. We did bucket seats with a center console, a couple cup holders just so you can go out cruising and enjoy the truck. Uh, it's all Bluetooth, uh, JL audio, stereo in it. I went with a, a 19 inch shop rear wheel, 19 by 11 in the rear. It's got a 325 tire on it. The fronts are 18s, kind of staggered those wheels. Did a, a yellow line tire from Diamondback Classics. The owner, Ryan LeBlanc, he's uh, out of Texas. He, he had called us over the phone when he ordered the truck and we, we just kind of got a couple ideas of what he wanted. Um, and then he would call in like every couple months is all. He just, hey, just want to check in on how it's going, so we'd send him a couple pictures. And then finally he said, hey, I don't want to follow you on any social media anymore. I don't want any more pictures. I, I want to surprise myself for my, I think it was his 40th birthday. So, uh, yeah, he, he was awesome. He'd just check in every once in a while. Um, and then we took it down to Texas. Uh, it was about a month ago, down in Fort Worth, Texas, at the Good Guys show, and debuted it down there and showed him for the first time. So and he was super pleased with it. And then the truck was picked for one of the nominations for truck of the year down in Texas, so it's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to putting it on the autocross, so I wanna, I wanna see this thing go through the autocross. I think it'll do really well with it, so.